once the gallery was emptied, we had to prepare all the rooms. Uh, the loan works then arrived from around the country. Uh, so we had to, to check these. And then uh, we started curating the show. And I worked very closely with Joe Dolby, uh, who assisted me in this process. And uh, we went, you know, we started with the, with the first room, uh, which is the introduction to the exhibition that, that kind of talks about very different viewpoints and points of entry into the South African history, uh, different takes, as it were. Um, and then we go through the exhibition uh, to early modernism, to talking about periods like Poly Street and Rock's Drift. Uh, there's, a, there's a room on abstraction, there's room on resistance art, and then there's about five rooms dedicated to contemporary art. For me, the idea was that if someone was walking through this exhibition and walking through the, the space of the gallery, one would also, you know, one would not only get an idea of the important artists during this time, of uh, some of the iconic works during this time, but also get an idea of the history of South Africa. So what was happening and how do these artworks then speak to this history if they do? The, the exhibition was really um, an opportunity to link this very large exhibition, the first time the whole National Gallery has been used for one show, uh, but to link this opportunity to also uh, to link it with the new vision for the National Gallery. So some of the ideas that we were, we were thinking about during this time were, uh, you know, about really being truly national and being representative of art from around the country. But also...